Hi, I'm Sapentia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. 4.2 Variable in ANOVA One way ANOVA, second. From the last class, we learned why we should learn one way ANOVA. So now we know, knew that we must learn new method of ANOVA. Here, example. We have uh, three colleges, male students' height. And then we want to compare the means of those three college students, male students' height. And now we cannot use the um, multiple t test because of the uh, type 1 error. So now we know, okay, we have to learn the one way ANOVA. However, before going to the ANOVA, we must know other things. It's very important. If we know uh, following things like uh, independent variable, dependent variable, and control variable, you can just pass this video. Now, in this video, we will learn about the independent, dependent, and control variable. Um, you should know those three variables before learning the ANOVA. So let's get started. First one, independent variable. Why is the name independent variable? Is variable independent? What's the meaning? If you check textbook or internet, uh, you can find uh, like this. Independent variable is a variable which researcher intentionally, intentionally could change. In other words, it is so-called uh, predictor variable or explanatory variable. Here, the independent means independent in the logical association. Usually, researchers are uh, examined the causal relationship, cause and effect. In the causal relationship, the independent position is cause rather than effect. So, the causal variable is an independent variable. At this point, please don't be confused. Uh, the independent variable is a variable which research intentionally could change, but it doesn't mean researcher can manipulate the independent variable. No, never. It couldn't. Here, researcher could choose what variable could be independent variable. Okay? You can choose uh, the independent variable from the many 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 um, potential or candidate variables okay second dependent variable so our question is uh, same where or to whom will it be dependent what's the meaning of the dependent if you check the textbook the dependent variable is variable which researcher want to know how it changes when independent variable changes. You understand? Dependent variable just dependent on independent variable. Right? In other words, we call it response variable or outcome variable. Here, the dependent means dependent in the logical association. As I said, researchers mainly examined the causal relationship, cause and effect. In the causal relationship, the dependent position is effect rather than cause. 
So the effect is a dependent variable, right? Uh, here is uh, one example, independent and dependent variable. Um, usually we expected higher salary, salary increase if we got a higher education. In economics, usually um, defined the higher education, college or university education is a kind of uh, investment because they just want a salary increase so they just invested some money and time in the uh, higher education. Here, what is the independent and the dependent variable? As you can see here, higher education is the cause so it is independent variable or predictor variable, explanatory variable. In some case, uh, somebody call it risk factor, but it is not uh, general, I think. And the salary increase is a dependent variable. Sometimes we call it response variable, outcome variable, or target variable. Anyway, it is dependent variable because the salary increase dependent on education. So higher education, salary increases, maybe. So here, the cause is independent variable and the effect is dependent variable. You have to know this point. And finally, other variables, that is a control variable. Basically, the control variable is uh, same as the independent variable. However, um, uh, the control variable is not the interest of researcher. It's not our concern. It means that um, the functionally, functionally, the control variable is the same as the independent variable, but that is not our concern. Okay. For example, um, uh, we usually expect that customer satisf satisfaction is high. In that case, the revisit intention, customer's revisit intention may be increased. That's our expectation. Okay, here, the customer satisfaction is a cause and revisit intention is an effect. Okay, so here customer satisfaction is an independent variable and revisit intention is a dependent variable, right? However, there is no possibility that the customer satisfaction is the only causal variable, right? Maybe there are so many reasons to revisit. For example, the usability or the, the um, in my case, I have uh, some kind of uh, uh, point on some store, so I have to use the point, so I just re revisit that store. There are so many, many reasons of revisit intention. Thus, we have to consider other important causal variables for revisit intention. If other causal variables were included and the customer satisfaction plays on cri uh, critical role, it's really, really important. I mean, okay, there are so many causal variables in our model. And there are so many uh, independent strictly speaking, that is control variable anyway, uh, with uh, another many other causal variables. Uh, anyway, the customer satisfaction is still significant. It means that, wow, it is really, really important. So, here, we have to use the control variable. Okay, If there is no control variable, it means that only one independent variable in our model, in the case, 
we call it model misspecification. It means that our model is misspecified mm -hmm. because there is no other control variable. So we have to use very, very important control variables in our model, right? Okay, today we are done here, uh, 4.2, variable in ANOVA, one way ANOVA second. See you next time. Mm -hmm.